Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today we're talking about a very interesting new setting that Apple has added to the new iOS 17. The ability to limit the iPhone's charge at 80%. Now this is really, really important. So in this video, we're going to talk about this, whether you should use this feature and if yes, why you actually should use this new limit that Apple has set for iPhone charging. Now, when it comes to iPhone charging, of course, the main thing when it comes to battery lithium ion batteries are charging cycles. Now, this will just show you how healthy the battery of your iPhone is because the battery health that you see on the settings is not always that accurate. So, on newer iPhones, the iPhone 15s, the Apple has added a great new feature where you can go to the settings, general, and then about. And then right here, you will see the battery, basically the about battery. And then right here, you see the cycle count as well, which shows how many times this iPhone's battery has charged and drained at 100%. Of course, it doesn't matter whether it's twice 50% or it's one 100%, that's still one charging cycle. Now, if you don't have a newer iPhone and you still wanna know your charging cycles, that will also be a very easy. I will leave a link right down below where you can download a shortcut. And once you have downloaded that shortcut, head on to your settings, go under privacy and security, scroll all the way down here, go to analytics and improvements, analytics data and all you have to do is find here where it says analytics the last one and in my experience the one that works the best is the one before the last one so you go right there tap that little share button and then just tap on the shortcut you just installed which is called power utility tap right there in a couple of seconds here you will see the details regarding your battery the charging cycles and all that you can see we have again 31 charging cycles and you can see the battery capacity right there is at 100 but of course based on this shortcut and the original size of the battery it's actually at 98.2 so that's really really important to know so now let's move on to this new setting talk about it and see what it's all about and why you should actually use it on your device so on ios 17 if you have noticed this when you go to the battery settings and you go to battery health and charging go to charging optimization right here now we'll have a new option called the 80 percent limit before we had optimized battery charging, now we have the 80% limit. Now, what's the difference between these two? Well, basically with optimized charging, you're just limiting your iPhone to 80% at a certain point, like just for maybe an hour or so before you wake up or you have your usual pattern, then your iPhone will still charge to 100%. Now, using this, of course, the iPhone will require a few days, maybe even weeks to learn your patterns of using your iPhone. And then let's say you plug in your iPhone during the night to charge, it will learn when you usually wake up. So let's say you wake up at 7 a.m., your iPhone will charge up to 80% and will stay like that during the night. And then let's say maybe like an hour before you wake up, it will start charging and reach 100%. But with the new 80% limit, that won't happen doesn't matter how long your iphone is charged it is actually being charged it won't charge past 80 percent and that's really important why it is important to actually stop the iphone from charging after 80 percent well this has been also confirmed by apple keeping your iphone between 80 and 40 percent is the best zone when it comes to charging your iphone which will keep the battery healthier now the lithium ion batteries will stress out a lot in heat in cold and of course during charging if you always charge it full so keeping your iphone at 80 percent maximum is basically the ideal for you to do to keep your iphone's battery healthier so the battery health that you have right here will drop really really slow so your iphone stops charging at 80 percent when optimized battery charging is enabled but then it will actually charge to 100 percent again but with this one, it will stop right there. And this will reduce the amount of time your battery spends fully charged and will prevent the battery from overheating and of course, aging faster. That way, keeping your iPhone's battery health for a much longer time. And you know, having a good battery health on your iPhone means that your iPhone will have peak performance capacity and it should perf and it will perform as it should and of course won't require you to actually replace the battery of your iPhone. 
So the question is, should you enable or not the 80% limit on the battery charging of your iPhone? I think you should, especially if you have a newer device and you know it has enough battery, especially the bigger devices, to get you through the day with 80%, then do it. Make sure you charge it. You will have probably a few other chances during the day to charge your iPhone back again, let's say from 50 to 80% again or so, but have it enabled and make sure that your iPhone doesn't go past 80%. I know a lot of people just want to have that 100 right there on the battery, but that's not actually the best for your iPhone. You're damaging the battery, you're stressing the battery out, you're overheating it, and of course, making it actually become less healthier, faster, and drop in battery health really, really fast. So yes, I think you should use that, just of course, based on your day and how you use your iPhone. If you find any spaces to actually use this feature, make sure you have it enabled because it will be really, really good for the battery health of your iPhone. Now, other things that I suggest you do to keep your iPhone's battery health at, of course, a higher percentage for a really long time is also avoid full draining the battery of your iPhone. That's not good at all as well. And in some cases, even though that might never happen to you, but in some cases, devices, when they are just like fully drained, the battery might even fail and not turn on back again. I know that probably is very, very like one in a million chance, but it might happen. Also, of course, make sure that you don't have your iPhone overheated. Don't keep it like near somewhere like a hot place or maybe at a car window or something like that where it can get like direct exposure to the, to the sun or to the heat that will damage the battery of your iPhone really fast as does the cold as well. And when it comes of course to chargers, always make sure that you use the Apple chargers or buy a certified charger for your iPhone, especially the new USB type C chargers, which are really, really important. And when going for fast chargers, always make sure that you use a genuine one. And of course, as much as possible, avoid wireless charging because that does heat the iPhone a lot, which means that it's also heating the battery. That way, the battery health of your iPhone will drop much, much faster. And of course, every time you want to have better battery health, it means that you have to charge your iPhone as rarely as possible. And to do that, of course, you need to have good battery life and make sure that you just disable any features that you don't use on your iPhone. I know there are a lot of cool features on the iPhone just by going under accessibility here. I will tell you some here, let's say like maybe the back tab or maybe always listen for Siri or maybe things like the new features, the personal voice and live captions, all that stuff, of course. Right here we have also live speech and all those features, voice control that are pretty cool. If you don't use them, make sure to turn them off. And always make sure that you use Wi-Fi as much as possible on your iPhone. Now this is one of the few tips that Apple also gives when talking about the battery of the iPhone. Make sure that you use Wi-Fi as much as possible because Wi-Fi uses way less battery than cellular data does. I know a lot of people will have like maybe even better speeds on cellular data than on Wi-Fi and they tend to use cellular data all the time, but that's really bad for the battery health of your iPhone. So that's basically it for this video, guys. The new 80% limit that Apple has put on the battery that's really important. If you can make sure you use it, it will be much, much better for the battery health of your iPhone. So that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Of course, leave a like in this one if you found it useful. And I will see you on the next video.